tell them about your selfie stick? I did tell them about my selfie stick. It is so cool. All right, so now the fun part. I wanna go through all the things that I took with me and hopefully it'll help with you trying to come up with what to take with you. So I'm gonna go to, all right, we're gonna move, we're gonna move. Okay. okay, so I'm on the floor. <laughs> So um, the first and most important thing is if you're going to backpack Europe, you need a backpack. So this is the backpack that I ended up choosing um, to take with me. I will try to find the exact model number and maybe put it here or in the bio. Um, but this is the Osprey brand um, backpack. And I really liked it because it just seemed very versatile and gave enough room. It's bigger than a carry-on, so you have to check this in, just FYI. There are smaller ones that you can take as a carry-on, which if you can fit all your stuff in, go on ahead, more power to you. But I just really didn't feel comfortable um, being able to do that with the fact that I was going for three weeks and it was my first time. So I really felt like this was a really good option for me. Um, so what we can do is go through it a little bit. So. Um, I obviously have used it partly, so it's not as like neatly packed as it was before. So basically, one of the most uh, amazing parts of this backpack is actually how you put it on. And it has this like anti-gravity setting in the back, which I think is the main reason why I got it, to be honest, even more than the size. But I had a lot of back, I still have a lot of back pain, but it was a lot worse in medical school, probably from all the sitting and stress and a lot of other things that I don't even need to get into, but had a lot of back pain. And this was a designed to minimize the amount of weight that was in your back. And so I felt like that was really important if I was going to be walking longer distances, getting from the train to my hotel or hostel or whatever it was, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. So I just thought that this was gonna be a really great investment. And so it has this, it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of like this um, airy part right in the middle here that goes all the way down. And just the way that it's structured is that it puts all the weight in your hips as opposed to putting it into your back. And so if you think about it, your hips do carry most of the weight in your body and also your abs too, but it's better to have your weight distributed into your hips as opposed to all in your back. So this is how you put it on. It's not just two straps but there's also these two really like thick things on the side that hug you. Actually, even without um, belting it together, it kind of does hug my hips and I don't really feel like I'm holding anything. I feel like it's all right here. So the other nice part, it has two pockets here. So these two pockets, mind you, I'm not sponsored. I basically bought this full price. So I'm just letting you know what I found and why I thought it was so cool. So the two pockets here and if they're big enough to like I mean, back then it held my phone. I, I'm using my phone to record this, so I can't test it out. But back then it was big enough to hold my phone. If anything, I mean, if not, then just find a fanny pack or something. But they're pretty big. They can like fit my whole hand like open like this inside. So you can put little things in there, whether it's your phone, charger, your passport, whatever it is. And then there's also this um, water dispenser. So there's also a bladder inside so you can like take drinks and stuff. But anyways, that's the cool part about... And then there's also these, like, whatever, you can hang stuff here. I don't, I didn't use it as much. This is the top. There is a whole bunch of room on the inside. So there's all this room on the inside that you can stuff things into, kind of like a mini um, carry-on almost, or like a... Uh, duffel bag um, but then what's cool is you can also um, close this part and then there is a zipper here so the zipper here opens and then you can actually access whatever you put in there through the front so you don't have to dig in take everything out so you can stuff everything in then use the zipper to get what you need and then there's actually like a floor to here 
inside here that you can actually access from the second zipper. So it's almost like a second compartment. I mean, you can kind of probably put things in this bottom part that are heaviest and also flatter maybe. Then you have just access to those little things there. So that's basically the backpack. Oh, and also the reason why I liked it too, it came with this mini backpack. So there are probably some photos out there that um, show me wearing this, but this is basically all I wore the whole trip. What I would do is I would take this backpack with me from city to city. They give you lockers in the hostels. I had a lock with me because that's something that I also found um, that was necessary in um, all my blog posts that you need a lock to lock up your stuff in the hostel. So I would lock this up into the um, lockers and then I would transfer over my water bottle, my phone charger, um, my passport, um, anything else that I needed immediately, whether it was a camera, whatever. I mean, I used my phone as my camera, but I didn't really have a whole lot of stuff in here. And it's really light because it's all fabric. And I would just put this on and go. And I actually bought this from REI and REI probably has their own... Um, probably has their own line of Osprey, but uh, that is where I got it from. And the way that this also worked too is it actually folded into becoming a part of the bigger backpack, but I never was able to figure out how to put it back together. There you go. And I actually use this even as a carry-on to on the plane because this, like I said, this bigger one was too big to um, carry on with me. So I checked it in. Now, last thing with luggage. The last thing that I found to be really helpful too was a, an additional duffel bag that actually folds out. I also bought this from REI. It's a big, big black duffel bag. And I don't remember where I got this idea from, whether it was the person in REI or something that I watched on a, um, or read on a blog post. But this was really cool because it was like really compacted when I bought it. And as you can see, this is like not even really compact, compact, but basically pretend this in like a really compact thing. And this turns out to be a huge duffel bag that held my entire um, backpack and then like even more stuff. And the backpack's not that heavy. So I will post a photo probably here of what it looks like when the duffel bag is full with my backpack and like more souvenirs and other things that I picked up on my trip um, to let you know what that looks like. But the other really cool thing about why this duffel bag I think is really important is there are these parts of the backpack, like the, the belt, uh, the little like hoops and stuff like that, that can get caught on the um, conveyor belts when you're checking it in. So that's one reason why you may not want to get such a big backpack if you are thinking of just taking one bag with you so that you can hold on to it and keep it safe or you invest into a duffel bag like this, which for me worked not only to protect my backpack, they're pretty expensive. I think it was somewhere between 200 to $300 for this backpack. But mind you, think of all the technology that went into make this. It protects it, so that's a really good investment that lasts a very long time. And also it gave me even more room that basically was the same amount of room as um, a full on suitcase. And, but it gave me the versatility to not need to tap into that suitcase until I was ready to leave. So I really thought that that was impressive and uh, a really clutch thing that um, ended up working out really well for me. Moving on to other things. So I got one of these cool like travel bags for my toiletries. Um, it came with a lot of the small toiletry things uh, that you can, the empty ones so that you can fill into whatever um, you think you're taking with you. It worked out really well. I was just really starting to get into different products with my skincare. So it was kind of like a trial period. It was a really good uh, investment too. It wasn't that expensive. I think I got it at like Marshalls, but it's nice because it's clear. You don't have to, you know, really think about it too much when you, you just pull it out of your bag. It's probably one of those things you put in that pocket that's easy to access from the backpack. And it fit all of my products. For three weeks, it actually fit pretty much everything I needed and I didn't really have any problems with running out of anything. A really important thing is a portable charger. I use this every single day. So every day 
I had my phone charged. Overnight, I would charge this, and then during the day, this would help me get through the whole day with just using my phone uh, to keep it charged. It was a place in the hostel, like usually by your bed, there's always uh, a plug. If there were two, I would charge this, I would charge my Fitbit, and then I would have to charge my phone. So depending on where um, the importance was on what it was, if this was running out, I would always charge this. This kind of lasted me about two and a half days of charge. Now, this is not that heavy, it's not that big. Um, nowadays, they're making them even smaller and they're having them last even longer. So I don't recommend the really big ones because those can get bulky. Like I said, if this is all you're carrying around with you, I mean, theoretically, you're trying to go simple, right? So I would recommend the smaller one, but try not to go less than about two days worth of charge on your charger. Another cool thing was this little cute, like, you know, those like Listerine things you put on your tongue to help clean out your mouth. Um, this is kind of the same concept, but it was actually, read it. Where is the camera? Where's the camera? There we go. Laundry soap sheets. So you open it up and it's literally paper. And this is literally what I use to clean my clothes. Now I clean my clothes maybe once every three days, depending on the hostel and what they had as um, an accommodation and how busy it was. They're actually really cool. I bought one and it's still, I still have like most of it left. Use one to two sheets, it says it on the back. It worked really well. Um, now going into actually what I wore, I actually kept it really simple. I took one pair of jeans, one pair of legging pants um, that were like thick, not something that I needed a coverage for. And I took three pairs of basic long sleeve shirts. I'll post a photo of my typical outfit here. And I got like one sundress with a cardigan and I brought three or four different scarves that Basically, my plan was that every outfit could be interchanged with everything else. So one shirt could be literally worn with both types of pants and all of the different types of scarves. So everything was interchangeable, everything was reusable. I never had to worry about like, well, this goes with this outfit only. My entire thought process was anything I take with me has to be able to use, be used with everything else I'm taking. The only outfit that I took with me that could only be worn by itself was the one sundress. So um, I don't even know why I took it. I, looking back, I really didn't need it, but you never know, you know? <laughs> I took also one pair of sneakers, which I wore every single day. I wore Ultra Boosts. They were really, really comfortable to wear everywhere, to walk everywhere with. Um, I took one pair of sandals, which I only wore the one time that I wore that sundress, and sandals for the bathroom and to wear around the hostel. That was my entire wardrobe outfit completely for three weeks. Three weeks, that was it. <laughs> so transitioning back into more clothing care. This is actually something that I didn't buy myself, or did I? I don't think I bought this myself. Um, one of the people that I met at the hostel gave this to me. And what this is, is uh, a hanging um, line for your my um, laundry in Paris and my hostel. I got really lucky and the person who was supposed to room with me never showed up. I room to myself. Um, so I hung each of these, they're kind of like these clips. And then the rope kind of, you can twist it and get into the middle of it. And um, basically I just hung my clothes to dry. Um, if the uh, hostel had washer but didn't have a dryer or if I had time to spare um, wherever I was staying and I could just have them hang dry, I used this. And I tried to give it back and you know, pass on the love before I left, but it didn't end up working out. This was also really helpful. Here we go. So this is so, so, so vital. So this is a, you can see what it says. Or maybe you can't. It says travel universal adapter and a surge protector. So you can see the brand name. I got this on Amazon, it has a lock unlock. Basically what is on this side uh, is every sort of um, power adapter. So this is actually really great because I used it all through Europe and then I 
pretty sure I took it to Iran with me too and even got to use it in Dubai and Iran. So it pretty much covered from Europe all the way to the Middle East. It actually tells you too. So it says here Europe. So then you know that this is the plug for Europe. And then you put in your own plug on this side. And it actually is universal. So even if you are coming from a plug that would use any of these, then you can still, you know, convert what you're doing. So then that's that. And then there's this side. And I believe this is, there's also this plug as well. And I believe that one or the other was the one that I used in Dubai and Iran when I went later in that same summer. This was actually really, really amazing. Uh, highly recommend necessity. Very important. Very, very, very important. Another very, very, very important thing is a portable prayer rug. So this, I don't remember where we got this from, um, but I'm sure that they'll sell them probably online nowadays. You can find literally everything online. The things that we used to have to get from the motherland, people now sell them all over the internet. Um, but yeah, so basically this folds out um, and becomes your prayer rug. There you go. Um, and then it folds up again and is done, a zipper, done, done, done. It's really important because it was really important to me to pray while I was on my trip. And I never had any problems with anybody being like, what are you doing? Because everybody's traveling from everywhere and most people have gone to other countries too and they probably know what that is. Another cool thing that I found was this microfiber towel and it actually came in a um, packet just like this um but basically they're very thin thin uh towels that the whole premise of using these as opposed to what other type of other towel there might be is that they are very fast drying so this is what the small one was looking like but they are all they all look exactly the same it's just different sizes this is literally how thin they are they're like as thin as my hijab but uh, they actually did dry very, very fast. And they're also very soft. It's kind of like a microfiber type material. I don't really like the feeling of it, but you have to kind of compromise somewhere. And so this is what I compromised on and it ended up being a really good um, decision to go this way because any other type of um, towel you get, if it's thicker, will take a lot more space and it'll take a lot longer for it to dry. So I think it's a good investment and um, a good purchase to get something like this that dries fast and also doesn't take too much um, space. Um, last but not least, I traveled with a fanny pack. Uh, I know it looks like really like mangled now, but I never wore it like out, so it wasn't meant to be a fashion statement. Basically, what I would do is I would put this on like so, and it was basically flush with my body, and I would actually put it inside whatever I was wearing. One other thing that I actually took with me was a sweater. I took one sweater with me. I'll also picture that here. That was also really, really important because that time of year it actually got really cold and I actually wore it a lot more often than I thought I would. So highly recommend that you look into the type of weather that you'll be around and kind of bring one thing um, for whatever you might expect. This fanny pack, what I would do is I would just put it on and most of the time I was wearing a sweatshirt out and then maybe sometimes I would take it off if it was warm, but I would actually put it inside whatever I was wearing like this. So you don't see it, I feel it. What I would put in this fanny pack was my passport, my credit cards, sometimes my phone. I did not want that in my bag. I did not want that on my side. I did not want that out uh, anywhere. I wanted that as close to me as possible because you are stuck and s out and s o l if you lose your passport or your credit cards um or any cash that you have so i highly recommend getting something that would work like this for you like i said it's not very pretty but it has a lot of space and i just like that it was flush like it is so thin that uh, it worked out really well for me this is actually one of the most important things that I traveled with every day. And I actually would put it in my bed with me every night too, just because I just felt better about that. You, I never had a problem with anything in the hostels, but I mean, it has your most valuable information in it and you sleep with your phone. So like, why wouldn't you just take this with you if you're in a room with like seven different people um, just to be safe, you know? Uh, but yeah, so 
One more thing that was a great investment were wool socks. I got these from Amazon, from Smart Wool. They're so old, but they were expensive and they were one of the better investments in ever a sock. I don't, they don't have any holes or anything like that. Um, and they help so that you don't um, sweat so much. So I also highly recommend these, which I also found on my blog readings and all of that. Two more things that I wanted to show. Um, one is this water bottle. And I started using this in medical school uh, because when you open it up and flatten it out, you can also fold it. And when you close the top, and then this hook here, um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but this hook here ends up compressing it into a single water bottle and it allowed me to actually stay hydrated while I was uh, in the hospital and I could just slip this into my white coat or even my pocket and then the more you drink the less space it takes up as you can see so I actually took this around with me too um, on all of my travels and I would just fill this up and it would fit into my, that little backpack as I went everywhere and also this hook allowed it to kind of hook on the side so I could easily access it. I had a different color back then it was um, like a light baby blue almost. It was really nice. Um, I couldn't really find that one as accessible after that one kind of wore out so that's why I have this kind of like dark blue one now. The last thing that I forgot to mention is you need a laundry bag. So this one actually, I think it went, oh yeah, so this was the inside. Um, it said a cute like wash me. And then it actually has this little zipper where when you fold it up again, just like with the big duffel bag, um, it will, folds up into a very small thing, just like this big, uh, like as big as this zipper. So that was also a good idea so that you can kind of separate out your dirty clothes from your clean ones. And that's pretty much it. One more thing that I thought was so important. Um, my first trip abroad, I took something that was very, 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 very important. And it was called the selfie stick. Um, I know people laugh, but I bought this selfie stick in Times Square for $5 after bargaining and bargaining and doing that whole Iranian tarof thing or whatever it is, chunazani. And um, I got it for five bucks and it was like $25 and my mom was there and it was really cool. That thing was amazing because you can't take photos of yourself when you're traveling by yourself. And see how I did there? I didn't say alone, I said by myself. <laughs> I'm not a hypocrite. So um, yeah, but I used it a lot because it gives you enough space that like you can straight up take really good photos of yourself. Like you might look like a fool, but but who the heck cares? Cause you're never gonna see these people again. Like you can, that was one of the coolest things about traveling alone is that you could be a fool and you will never see these people again. <laughs> Second trip that I went on, I actually wanted to invest in something a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I had this idea from an, in advance, but I just really wanted a tripod. I thought that that was a little bit more of what I wanted to go towards on the second trip. So I actually, I will take this around. Um, I actually invested in this right here and I got it from Target. I was maybe like 20 bucks. It actually folds up to be very, very small. So like I said, this bottom part opens up one more and very easy to use. And likewise, when you are traveling by yourself, you have nothing else to do. So nobody is rushing you and um but it also came with i guess this is the same brand so maybe they came together um but the same piece that connected to the phone to hold it actually connects to this small tripod too i may have bought these together i don't really know to be honest but it was a tripod small and a tripod big and then there was this um extension i guess too i think maybe this part was separate this part comes down just a little bit more too, but this is it. This was the travel bag it came with. And that, this was that, okay? That was really cool because you get to be creative if you're trying to make a video, if you're trying to take a particular shot. You have all the time in the world. Just set it up and do it. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. But that's basically it. 
Hey. If uh, this was helpful or not, just let me know so that I can remember that for the rest of my life. But yeah, so hope this helps. I hope this helps you kind of plan your own solo trip or, you know, with a group of people that you love. Um, and I hope even just the items that I took with me were helpful at all. And I wish you all the best. Bye.